This is the door section of my spaceship from uh, Alien Isolation, which is part of my entry to the survival game uh, topic in Blender Challenge 11. It's uh, about midnight on Tuesday, and uh, this whole scene is due on Sunday. <laughs> I'm just starting to, to texture this thing, so I don't know if I'm going to get it done or not, but uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to texture this in Substance Painter. All right, so I've got a door and I've got a material on here. I've got the door frame with its own material and I've got door panels. So three materials, three objects that are not joined together. They are UV unwrapped, however, and I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna export FBX right here. I'm going to choose selected objects and I'm going to call this a door and frame. I'll call this video. I'll leave everything else the same. All right. Substance Painter and select it. Open and OK. And here it is. OK, so as you can see, I've got the door, door frame, door panels. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose Bake Mesh Maps. I'm going to do it at 2048. All right, so there it is. Let's work on the door first. So I've got the door selected. I'm going to delete that layer. I'm going to choose Fill. And for this, I am going to choose color and roughness only. And I'm going to leave the color as it is. But for roughness, I'm going to put the roughness up quite a bit. So that's just the door right there. Okay, I'm going to call this um, Paint Rough. Control D to duplicate that layer. I'm going to call this Paint Glossy. I'm going to bring up the color. So this is a slight difference between them. I'm going to add a black mask. And now that uh, is hidden, I only see what's underneath. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose Add Fill. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna make this quite a bit more shiny. All right. And I'm gonna click on this grayscale here and I'm going to choose a grunge. And now I can just find just whatever. Let's try this. All right. So now I have a, a grungy grungy sort of door here all right nice I'm gonna select both of these and go control G to make a folder and this is gonna be uh, mm, I'll just call this door paint okay now I want the same on my other parts as well on the door frame. So I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to come to door frame and get rid of that. And I'm going to paste those. So I get that on there. And I also want them on the panels. Okay, so everybody's got that going on so far. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the door. And let's add something, some metal on this part here. 
Okay, now this is joined. And so here's what we're going to do. Let's go to, let's see if it's down here. The steel. Okay. Smart materials. Steel gun mat. Drag that up. And the whole door is covered. I'm going to add a black mask. Okay. I'm going to click on polygon fill. I'm going to zoom in. And I only want it to show up here. So I'm going to choose probably mesh. Mesh film. And I'm going to choose that. This, 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 and this. Click the brush to go out of that. And now I have that on there. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to call, I'll just leave that uh, like that. I want to do something here as well. So I'm going to choose another fill with a black mask. And for this one, I'm going to just go to materials, I think, and look for this paint plastic PVC. I'll make that one. Drag that over. Come in here. And I'm going to, let's see, let's change the base color to make it almost a black color. But I like that texture. That's going to be for the window. So let's put a black mask on there. And go into polygon fill again. And just click that. That's what I'm going to do for that stuff. You could, I could smudge that up and all, but I don't think, I don't think I really need to. Now, okay, I'll just leave that like that. Let's come up here. I want to do something on these panels with that. So we got the door paint there. Let's just drag that up. There we go. That's what I want. Black mask these knobs here okay it's mirrored so it goes on the other side as well I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna switch this to um, polygon fill and I'm just gonna go through and try to select the polygons that I would want change that to black in a minute okay let's do that darken that up yep that's what we're going for right there cool so far so good okay and on the door frame going to do another uh, thing here I'm going to paint with uh, color you can press the alt in color and uh, say roughness let's go for red and height actually roughness not, not too just a little bit of height Let's try this. Uh, I'm going to switch over to orthographic. And hold shift to snap it in. 
and I'm going to turn on symmetry and let's go to alphas and square and choose this square all right actually I'll turn off symmetry for now let's make it a nice big one Yeah, for this actually, we'll do white first. Uh, you know what? I will go for red, and I will put we'll put symmetry on. Do something like that. Okay, so far so good. And there's only one more thing that I want to do, and that's back here. And this is a uh, say uh, squares. Let's go back to the door. And I want to make this an emission. Okay, these uh, arrow-like structures here. I'm going to come over here and we'll see that um, I've got base color, height, roughness, metallic, normal. I don't have emission. So I'm going to click this plus and choose uh, emissive. And I'm going to create another fill layer with a black mask. And here I'm going to come over and choose um, Press Alt to click Emission. And the emission color I'm going to use is a green color. Right there. Okay. Click on here. And let's try this. And there it is. And I can click on here and I can adjust the emission intensity. But I'm going to do that more in Blender when I bring it back in. Okay, so I've got that. And uh, what I'll do is this is um, emissive green. And I'll do one more, the same idea. And it's going to be red, black mask, and that one's going to be red. I'm not sure both of those would be on at the same time, but... That is my door. And frame. And if I didn't like the grunge, I could easily go back in and change it. But that's just to speed things up a little bit. That's, uh, that's what I'm getting. Okay, and I'll go ahead and I'll do a similar process uh, with, uh, with the other pieces. Now, one other thing I might do here. Uh, let's turn on that for now. Um, I might increase the ambient intensity, ambient occlusion. Okay, 
So there we go. There's my door ready to use. And that's it.